Hello community, I'm Leah Hansen, our customer service team leader, and I'm excited to take you through our latest Allo product update. We've been working super hard on partial payments and we're proud to be releasing our first version. In this first iteration of partial payments, you'll be able to receive and manage partial payments in the back end of your Allo platform. Partial payments gives you greater flexibility around taking payments. It will allow you to do things like take multiple credit card payments on a single order, use credit notes to adjust amounts on orders, and man manage the financial implications of someone transferring people between courses that have different prices. Partial payments is hooked up to both Xero and Stripe, so all your information will be kept in order. We made significant improvements to our Xero integration. If you're currently using Xero, this will mean there are changes to the way you use the two systems to ensure they stay in sync. Check out the support documentation for the full details. We've already rolled this feature out to our Product Lab customers who are working with us to fully test it. Once they've given the green light, it'll be released to all our other customers. In the near future, we'll be adding elements like deposits, where your customers will be able to make a partial payment online from your checkout. To help you and those in your team better understand Arlo, we're excited to release Arlo U. Arlo U will help you and your team become Arlo experts. It's the place to brush up on existing features or learn newly released ones and will make onboarding new staff members easy. It's our very own in-app learning experience which contains readings, step-by-step -step tours and activities on how to use Arlo. Allo U is located in your demo company, so there's no risk to your live platform when creating new data. Strong customer authentication, or SCA for short, is a requirement of the EU that requires electronic or online payments to be performed with multi-factor authentication, where both the business and the cardholder's bank are located in Europe. A payment may require your customers to have two of the following authentication methods. Something the customer knows, like a password or PIN. Something the customer has, this could be a phone. And something the customer is, this is any biometric authentication, like fingerprint or facial recognition. The good news is you don't have to do anything to accommodate this. We've made the changes to our law for you. If you and your customers are in this region, we've made some changes to our Stripe checkout to allow you to comply with these latest requirements. A couple of releases ago, we updated our contacts and organisations user interface. The change made it easier to see information and take action on your records. Until now, we've made the new screens opt-in, so you can flick between the new and the old UI. This helps you get used to the changes and give us some time to see how you find it. The overwhelming response has been incredibly positive. So we, in this release, have moved everyone over to the new user interface. Just a quick heads up. If you're in the USA and around the Las Vegas area in mid-October, you need to go to DevLearn 2019. It's one of the biggest learning and development gatherings globally. Be inspired by some pioneering keynotes, discover the latest technology, and come say hi to us. We'll be exhibiting from October 23rd to 25th. So if you're going to be there, let us know and we'll shout you a copy. As always, if you have any questions regarding anything you've seen today, please get in touch on sales at allo.com. These changes, as well as some minor enhancements, have been rolled out to your platforms. Make sure you get into your demo company, give the new features a go, and let us know what you think. Happy exploring!